Okay, now number four on the list is up next. If you have missed the first three, I would recommend that you click in the description below and check out the links for the beginning part of this series. I am going through each of the Cameo Pro, the top five tips that we are seeing when we have been troubleshooting over the last couple years. So number four is the roll feeder and the mat support. Now I did cover this in the part one when I was talking about the workspace, but I again want to bring it back into play because it is the number four thing that we see. So I have placed it here in front of my machine. I would highly recommend that this is installed all the time. No matter what you're doing, it will give you the best success for your cuts. It helps to support both vinyl and your cutting mat, depending on what you're using. Again, keep in mind that this machine is a little bit different, a lot different than a commercial plotter in that it can use a cutting mat, which is not what a commercial plotter can do. So it does function differently. So we need to kind of set that up. Check out the first part about workspace, about the size and the dimensions that I recommend. You really need a large workspace for this. And that includes having that roll feeder fully supported and not hanging off your table. So to set it up, I have it again nested here. I can go ahead and take my parts out of it. And I'll just place these where they go. And setting this up backwards is always interesting. So I'm just going to carefully lift my machine up and place the little channels underneath the section. So if you're setting it up for vinyl, this is the start. This is your mat support. You can set that aside. The stability bar is very important. Um, one of the things that I have seen in troubleshooting is when a user does not have the stability bar that all of these pieces allow a lot of movement. So this, for instance, it is designed to move back and forth, but you have a lot more wiggle room in the pieces and that can affect when you are cutting your vinyl, if that roll of vinyl is not staying put and it's shifting, that's going to affect or it could affect how your cuts turn out, how the, it's being fed into the machine, the tension it has on it. Um, it can all play a factor into those cuts. So you want to make sure to install that stability bar. And if your roll of vinyl does not fit within here, with the stability bar um, installed, your roll of vinyl is too large. I would recommend that you cut a smaller, a, you, you know, you can do like 30 feet if you needed to, but cut it down to a smaller roll size. It will help in your success for this machine. So here is how it's installed for the uh, vinyl if you're using rolls. And you can slide this middle piece apart uh, down for smaller rolls. The nine inch roll is the smallest that it can cut. And Silhouette America sells a nine inch roll. I don't know that there's many other retailers that have it out there. But you can move this along in order for it to hold that roll securely. And I'm going to remove this for a second. You have these little rollers here. And I detail this out in greater length in my teachable class. So make sure to check out that description below. You want the vinyl to sit on top of these rollers. You do not want it to be sitting down and touching the bottom of your roll feeder here. That will cause tension and it will affect how it is feeding into the machine because it's having to pull it up over top of that roller. So you want your vinyl rolls to go on top of these. So check out that teachable for how I show how to adjust it if needed. I'm going to leave that down for a second. So this is the setup for rolled vinyl. This is your mat support. And no matter what size mat you're using, I would recommend you install this for your cuts to have the best success. The, the flatter you can keep your mat and materials going into the machine, the greater chance you have for an accurate cut. So then you install the stability bar 
on the front here. So you have your mat support and you want your mat support to be as centered as possible depending on the size mat you're using. So if I was to be using a 24 inch mat, I can move it here to the middle. If I'm using a 12 inch mat, I will move it here into the center and it, then the 12 inch mat would sit about right here. So if you need more details about issues or setting up the roll feeder, check out that teachable link for more in-depth about setting up the roll feeder and tips and tricks for that.